All right, so, let so me, let me, now we know that. Okay, let me ask you about <laughs> that. And $5 I, I think you'll see a, a difference in the next. Mm -hmm. Okay, the five trillion dollar cut. The president obviously talked about that today. I know that was sort of the the heart of, of when you talk about him being dishonest. It comes down to the tax cut. So here's what the president said in well, Denver there's, today. There's about plenty that. of other examples. Okay, let me just play this one and then get your reaction. Mm -hmm. When I got onto the stage, uh, I met this very spirited fellow who claimed to be Mitt Romney. But it, but it couldn't have been Mitt Romney because the real Mitt Romney has been running around the country for the last year promising $5 trillion in tax cuts that favor the wealthy. The fellow on stage last night, night said he didn't know anything about that. Stephanie, let me ask you about that, because here at CNN, we fact-checked that, that $5 trillion in tax cuts, and we've come and said that that's not true. Mitt Romney's not promised that, because he's going to also be closing loopholes and deductions, so his tax cut wouldn't be anywhere near that size. So you're, you're disputing the size of the tax cut? Are you yes. disputing also how he's going to pay for it? Well, he we're does disputing the size because he is going to be... Well, he's he going to be... campaign, Aaron. He's campaigned on lowering tax rates by 20% for everybody, including those in the top 1%. That was one of the main selling points in the Republican primary. Right, so He's you're saying if you lower, lower them the by 20%, you get, you get a, tw a $5 trillion tab, right? It's a $5 trillion tab. But then yeah, when you close deductions, going to close, it's not going to be anywhere near $5 right. trillion. Dollars. That's our analysis. Well, okay, stipulate it. It won't be near $5 trillion, but it's also not going to be the sum of $5 trillion in the loopholes that he's going to close. So it is going to cost someone, and it's going to cost the middle class. Independent economists have taken a look at this. There aren't enough deductions for those at the top to account for the uh, number of tax cuts that they'd get because of Mitt Romney's policy. So you have to raise taxes on the middle class. Well, they As will Bill say, Clinton of course, said, that, it's just that, simple math. Okay, they, they'll say though that you can you can do that. There there are other studies. I know the one to which you're referring, but there's prove also it. the possibility you know of what? economic but growth. Aaron, prove it. Well, you can't well, prove either prove side it. is all I'm so, saying. But the one thing that I can say is well, not true is the five trillion dollar I disagree with you. Tax you tax. can prove it. So then they should just say that they're counting entirely on economic growth to pay for a tax cut, which is an interesting theory because that's what George Bush did. And let's look at how that turned out. We they're the not saying entirely. They're saying closing loopholes and, and economic growth, both. I mean, I understand you disagree with it. I'm just you, making the point of what Aaron, they're saying. But that still leaves you at least a trillion dollars short. That's all I'm saying. The math does not work with what they're saying. And they won't name those deductions. Not a single deduction that they will close because they know it's bad for their politics. Now look, the, at the end of the day, this is the center. This is the core of Mitt Romney's economic policy. Last night, he walked away from it and said he didn't have a $5 trillion tax cut. He does. That's what lowering the rates amounts to. Okay, so, well, you know, okay, well, I know you and I disagree on whether it's really a $5 trillion tax cut. He doesn't want to say how he's going to pay for it. 